unique gameplay opportunities. As we said, Pirates has the feats in chain, mm -hmm. and here the Medjai has Transform, the ability to have two separate modes while in locked combat at all times. Interesting. So, unlike Highlander, where you get smacked and you're knocked out of your, your second mode all the time, yeah. uh, this character gets to live in that mode as much as they want. So you have two completely kind of separate kits in the same kit. It's like two and one. Exactly. Cool, cool. So Ben, uh, I feel like we should just dive into it. Yeah, let's get into it. Let's dive into it. So, into it. Oh, he looks so uh, awesome. <laughs> let's go with the chains first, right? Sure. Uh, start with the basics. Uh, the chain, if you're familiar with the uh, Shaolin, it's exactly the same. So you're going into light, heavy, light, heavy, heavy, light, heavy, light, as long as you're Oh, the animations uh, you're going dope. to get the chain going as long as you have stamina. Uh, your chain lights are enhanced, so you can keep going all the time. And if you press uh, light twice, for example, you're going to get into your finisher light. Mm -hmm. If you get heavy twice, you're going to go into your finisher heavy, mm -hmm. and that's the end of your chain. So that's out of the way. Um, I just, sorry, can you throw a few more lights uh, and heavies just so we can get all the damage values for those uh, yeah. recording along at home? Yes. <laughs> oh, like 27. There you go, <laughs> there you go. recording. Like 13 damage um, lights. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, 11, 12, oh, everything is on a stance as soon as you get into the chain. Uh, the okay. fact that he has uh, this uh, gigantic staff and holding it like really long. Oh, long, that's so cool. Um, means that he has really imposing arcs. And uh, basically, this is kind of telling you that this is a hero that's going to be comfortable in group fights one season. Oh, he's so cool. Mode. I love it. Uh, let's get through the rest of the kit real quick. Zone so you like. have uh, side dodge heavies. Yep. Classic. Uh, dodge those pesky Blackbriar bashes and uh, shoulder bashes. Dodge forward Knew heavy, it. which uh, if I can show it up here, Roll does catcher. What it should do. Which is close the gap, prevent someone from rolling out, uh, initiate combat. Great. That's solid. Cetera. Uh, we have the zone, which, as you can see, has very short forward range, yeah. but that's on purpose because usually you want to kind of target the guy in front of you and hit the guy that's behind you. If it would go forward a lot, mm -hmm. you would miss those external hits. Interesting. So that would feel a lot worse than Kind of sort of like uh, James if you swirl. Moving a lot forward. Uh, next, we have the big payoff uh, bind move, mm -hmm. which is the dodge forward guard break. There you go. Uh, kind of like a demon race. It deals immediate damage and it chains uh, into your chain lights, your chain heavies, uh, all that good stuff. And you can even perform it after any light in chain. Uh, so you can target swap and hit someone uh, in a group fight surprise. Weird. Uh, and you'll understand uh, like why we're doing this a bit later when we get into the axes and what you'll see. Um, I think that covers... Oh yeah, I guess we got the guard break. Uh, guard break punish kind of... Uh, not uh, the usual one. So you'll have a top guard break punish for this hero. Remember, if you're playing Warlord, you know that you have to go top. Okay. To get that guaranteed so you heavy. can't get a side uh, heavy. Okay. Guy, don't do side, or you'll get this. Not a fun time. Um, okay. Otherwise, uh, I think we're ready to go. Uh, I think so. Let's, let's just kind of sum up his form a little bit. Very interesting. So if you're in uh, staff mode, you've got big trajectories. You've got unintrickable stance. Uh, and you've got a really good gank melee move that lets you do uh, direct damage and so on. So it's kind of speaking to you as like, if you're in a group fight, this is your group fight uh, mode. And that the you lane as well, I guess. It's good for clearing. Uh... It's very good for clearing the lane, uh, in my humble opinion at least. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone's opinion. I yeah, think. okay, perfect. Uh, uh, so that's basically... So what mode. he has, uh, is, is, it pull, is it a pullback uh, square so input the for the unblockable right, guard so, break? Okay, uh, or is it dash the forward the bash? Bit, I guess, uh, so mm. walk back and guard break is yeah. your mode switch uh, special move. Pull so back you're going and guard to take break, some time okay. To between modes. You are a bit vulnerable while you're doing, uh, doing this, so you don't want to be caught with your pants down, uh, wanting to switch in the middle of a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have ways to speed cool. that up. So, for example, you want to be in access mode uh, coming into a fight. Right? This is a duel. I'm like, I don't want to be in staff mode. Boom. You can Ooh. enter lock, back and guard break, and it's going to be a quick transform recall. Uh, same thing for every recovery that the character has can be cancelled with this uh, quick transform so you can be in the mode that you want uh, as fast as <laughs> cool. possible and we even have it on a parry cancel so if Steph you want to throw a heavy 
There you go. You can switch stance and still get your guaranteed damage that you would have had. From, I'm like, curious the about the damage like values. So not only like you can just just uh, switch the mode like that, but you can really like do like a follow up like attack axe. Like, yeah, it's you cool. It's cool like that it, it's a like, really yeah. cool flow when it yeah, gets going for sure. It's super cool to see. I love uh, what we did here. Yeah, I'm super happy with it on parry especially because that's a time a lot of times we were like, oh, I thought it was a duel, but now it's a group fight. Mm -hmm. So I got a parry off at some point and I can transform into the mode I want mm -hmm. or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And while you're an axe, uh, Ben, remember when we did like a hit reaction in axe? That was a big challenge that we had because it was always going back into a staff. And uh, thank you to Tariq and the GPP team to, to help uh, helping us uh, creating like uh, magic, programmer magic, <laughs> to make it happen. So, so you just press back and press where to go into your mode. Into act, so. Good. There you go. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this hero has been a long time. Oh, wow. Like, and he yeah. stays in the zone even. He can't get hit out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay, uh, that, I kind of like that. You just press it once. You don't have to hold yeah, it down. Can, can we see some execution as well? Uh, I like I mean, it. We're going to get through the axes mode stuff first. Oh, okay, yes. I'm, I'm just too excited. Calm down. Okay. I'm excited, <laughs> too. <laughs> I, mean, I kind of like that. I only do that for Highlander. We'll see it all. All right, so Vegai in axes mode, he is... He has a move parity, that's what we call it. I don't know if we made that up, but it means dodge that heavy. whatever you're pressing in one mode, uh, it's going to do something in the other mode. So if I go dodge forward uh, heavy in access mode, there's something there. If I do side dodge heavy in access mode, there's something there. Uh -huh. If I do zone, obviously there's a zone. Ooh, if I, I like do, that. Um, the dodge forward uh, guard break, instead of being a big bind move, it's a super quick unreactable bash. Uh, okay. That this time guarantees a light and, of course, combos into itself. Oh, wow. That's stamina. so fast. Uh, and you have I'm gonna the like that mode. finishers that, instead of having initial stance, have um, some good good old unblockable That's property cool. to really force a reaction. I'm going to like opponent. the second mode so, a lot so more. So what you're saying there with the imperparity is basically like, we taught you all the moves that you have in uh, staff mode. Mm -hmm. So using the same inputs that you've seen there. You can do the same character uh, kind of flow. That's cool. In the axe mode, and you get moves basically. So yeah, they have different properties of different use cases, but uh, uh, basically, uh, yeah, there yeah. you go. So it's a bash, like, and then the GB is variable time and stuff. Mm -hmm. But since you know, once you know once the, what the press in one, you'll know what to press in the other one, and then it's, it's gonna, gonna take time for me, dude. For example, 400 on this chain lights, and nothing's uh, undodgeable. And, uh, the unblockable heavy finishes. Uh, so I think that gets us to the executions, right? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Dodge forward heavy, right, side no dodge heavy on both all. modes. All right, let's see him real quick. All right. Bam. Oh, God, this guy. Oh, <laughs> <He's all. laughs> fancy. So much for the mocap, like doing the stuff like detach, attach, detach, attach during the execution. I love it. That's cool. And, uh, I kind of like that. If you are in access mode, you will be reverting to staff mode uh, if you start uh, an execution, if you're going to the execution timer. Mm -hmm. And if you go out of lock, same thing here. So, uh, okay, so yeah, his main good, form is the staff know. form. Uh, okay. that's, that's why we have the shortcuts because you're into access mode whenever you So what would be the logical transition if you play a hero like in terms of uh, fight kit or play style like to play the Magi? Uh, I think it depends what you're used to, basically. Like, if you... <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> I love that. Uh, That's you, cool. If you're used to big trajectory characters, your... I think I like the first one more. Uh, then you will... Oh, the shot! Think, ...quite naturally learn mm -hmm. the, uh, the group fight aspect of this, the staff mode side of this. Oh, it scratches and the back like Shigoki. Some of the characters yep. that can kind of move you down quickly if things go their way. Uh, the Assassin's or Berserker, let's say. Uh, you'll quite quickly uh, learn how to do the flow uh, for axe mode, basically. Exactly. I like that one, too. So, should we get into the feats next? Oh, feats! Yeah, right? I feet. forgot right. about the feats. The two modes extends all the way to the feats. <laughs> it does. That's why I said uh, duality earlier. So, I'm super happy that this we managed cool. to do this. It was a hurdle, but we managed to do a hero where each of the feats has two different uses. That's so, crazy. basically, the hero has kind of like eight feats. Uh, let's roll the video, uh, the videos. Uh, so on the first feat, uh, we have the Sunshine Strength. Uh, when you get a kill in staff mode, uh, for the duration of your life, you will now have a defense buff 
for as long as you live. So as soon as you die, you're gonna lose it, but you're in access mode, you're in staff mode. As soon as you get that buff, you're gonna keep it. Uh, and next, we have the opposite effect in access mode. If you get a kill and you have that uh, that feat activated, you buff. will now get a passive attack buff That's very for the duration cool. of your life. And the fun part, the quest, as we call it, <laughs> is that once you get both buffs, or you can get both this buffs. This is a very at cool once. hero. And so very versatile. You are a passively buffed. Doesn't seem overpowered yet. For the rest of your life, and that's that's even scarier knowing what the hero can do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you get to keep each of these pieces. So kind of your goal, as you say, your quest. Uh, can you imagine if you had the conquer feet? Oh, no. Try to get a kill in one mode, and then you get to keep the defensive buff, the little green thing you see on the shoulders. Mm -hmm forever until you die uh and then ideally if you get it in the other mode then you get the attack one as well you see your hands going and your shoulders going and you'll be like i'm not going to die there you go <laughs> all That's right cool. moving on to the second feed the like uh, moonlight drain uh which uh, as its name implies is a debuff so if you hit your melee bind attack uh with the staff mode uh, you'll see a debuff on your opponent that debuffs uh, its defense. So okay, so it takes more damage move, if they get hit by that long ass that fucking will grab. That have your allies nearby ready to do heavies. Oh and if man! Your, if your opponent is debuffed at the same time, he's gonna eat a lot of damage. So that's so really cool, well with the game man. plan. And if we go with the staff the, equivalent, uh, if that's the a dashboard dashboard dash. sorry, uh, you hit your little unreactable buff there. That's going to apply a debuff on the attack of your opponent, giving you a so they less damage. In that okay. Duel, uh, allowing you to tank a bit more damage. And I think I'm pretty well going to prefer the staff often, version. You can expect your opponent to be debuffed uh, pretty much the whole fight, I would guess. 21 I like that both like, staff and axe, they kind of like talk to each other in the same like They're kind of similar, but different. Yeah, they just speak the to each so other, so man. Okay, so exactly. it does 24 so we damage. Had a, we had an and now it does 21 damage. A said that. Uh, this is a really cool hero. hero. So the stuff that you get in axes makes you sense. You can be offensive or defensive. And the stuff you get in axes as well. So, perfect example is the third feat, uh, Scarab Relief, which uh -huh. in staff is a AoE healing around you. You're going to be in a group fight with. Uh, okay, Magi so it's just a healing lot. feat. Cool. So that's what you want to have. Mm -hmm. um, and if you are in axes mode, oh. it's a greedy mode. You're in a 1v1. You want to get healing for yourself, but it's going to be more healing, obviously, than the staff counterpart. Oh. But, uh, yeah. So, in the double axis the form, if you use it, it heals uh, yourself, yeah, but you heal more I love that than you like, would if you were a uh, support. Like staff, so, you, you can be, be like selfish like, or you could be fighting, offensive or uh, supportive. Or That's really cool. Good. You can heal your friends. And then, vice versa, if you're an axe, your whole mode is about 1v1 ing. So, if you can heal yourself for a bit more than you could heal a group. It's all about 1v1ing, yeah, and yeah I see. And the big payoff uh, reflects that as well. On the feed 4, we have on staff a big uh, projectile AoE that you can throw around and hit people uh, that are bunched up in a group fight uh, for uh, medium damage. And then you have the Axis mode, which, if you've been paying attention, is a single target projectile that deals <laughs> a crap ton of damage to just one person. Uh, and that pretty much covers all of the feats. We are super curious projectiles. to see how this comes okay. out. I hope that they change uh, projectiles. In the, in the competitive scene and the casual scene, everyone. Yeah, so about, about that, what, which uh, com, uh, composition like of the team will fit Very the most versatile. with like, Mechai, like having Mechai in your team? What will work the best? Uh, I think there's a lot of variety actually to this because of the duality aspect. You can kind of play Medjay a little bit differently depending on either your situation or your team's comp or your skill set. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you need I like to win that. The big group fight in mid? Go into staff mode and go try to do that. Do you need to hold this point and win a 1v1 <sighs> to, to keep your team together? You can go to Axe mode and you can actually get it done. You uh, have a lot of options. Exactly. So, so who are his friends going to turn out to be? It depends how versatile you are. It depends how. Uh, I think your team is set, basically. That's so great. So, I mean, we're going to watch that uh, live with, like, member of a community for the exhibition match that's coming in. So thank you so much, guys, for the explanation, and uh, see you soon. Right, that's very cool. Everybody. Okay, I think that's it. So, my thoughts? Um, I think he's a very unique hero. I'm not 100% sure how the staff form, like dash forward GB works. I don't know if it's a pull back square input or if it's a dash forward kind of bash input the same as the the dual axis form. I like the fact that you can't get hit out of your other form. 
Um, I hope that they do that for Highlander or something like that because they did mention that that was, you know, a very annoying issue to deal with if you are playing Highlander is that you can get hit out of your uh, offensive form quite often with either a guard break or a undodgeable attack. Um, he has no undodgeables, which is cool. I feel like this one is going to be tame. I don't think he's going to be super overpowered. Um... I might say he is ever so slightly weaker than Kyoshin than when Kyoshin was released. Because, for those of you who don't know, I think Kyoshin is probably the most balanced hero, the most completely, like, non-overpowered hero ever, until I, until you, like, run into two Kyoshins, like, more than one Kyoshin in a Dominion match where they're just spamming all guard or whatever. Annoying as shit, um, if you haven't experienced that. But... I'm very interested in it. Um, I'm really curious to see how it feels to switch in between the forms. I'm a little worried that I'm going to you know, screw up a lot, but I feel like everyone, a lot of people are going to screw up a lot playing with this new hero. Um, got a roll catcher, has a dodge heavy, you know, two very solid um, moves that he has, really the bread and butter of what uh, every hero needs nowadays. You know, Centurion needs one, Black Prior needs one. So that was a smart move for them to do that. And on top of that, you know, they gave him a bash as well. And in a staff, in his staff form, they gave him a variable timed bash. So I'm curious if you can faint it. They haven't shown that you can faint it. So I'm a little worried that it's just a very slow, unfaintable bash that's GB punishable. Um, in which, if that's the case, I, if it's not faintable, I wouldn't even suggest using it in a 1v1 scenario rather than, you know, a much more of a 4v4 scenario. Because if it's unfaintable, if it's basically like Lawbringer Shove, then I'm not really going to use that, unfortunately. But um, I like the whole duality that they have with it as well in terms of the feats, where it's like you, you're in staff form, you activate your first feat, you kill someone with it, you get a defensive buff, and if you're in dual axis form, you can deal uh, extra damage. You have an attack buff if you kill a hero, which they really have that duality there with the feats, and I think that that's very cool, and very unique to the um, Egyptians' identity. And the zone uh, does, I, I was kind of right, um, it does look a little bit janky compared to Jang Jun's Sifu Swirl, but it kind of sort of looks like it. I, I'm pretty happy that I was right about that. Um, anyway, um, the cosmetics look really cool. I really like the Anubis head as well. Um, really excited to see what else um, we can do with this hero and when we get our hands on it when he's released. Um, super excited. I would love to know your thoughts and, in the comment sections below. Um, you guys are all awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the continued support. I'm posting shorts almost every day trying to get into For Honor, so hopefully I can get into For Honor. Um, no one, I don't see anyone else doing it, so I mean, why not? So, um, again, please let me know how your day was. And I hope that you all have a blessed day. All right. Take it easy.